Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to some of the first gameplay from Titanfall 2. In particular, today we're taking a look at the single player. I also got my hands on some exclusive multiplayer footage, but that's coming at a later date. Last week, you guys saw me posting on Instagram, Twitter that I am out of town. Well, EA flew me down to LA in order to preview this game. This footage is just a snippet of the maybe like 20 minutes that they had shown us of the single player, talked to us about what their idea was for it and how they built the campaign and created the story and the mechanisms that are in it. But it gives you a nice little taste to it and I'm not gonna be spoiling anything for you. They expressed that the feedback that they had gotten on Titanfall 1 was that they wanted more depth with the universe and that was something I definitely felt it was very shallow they wanted to build more of a connection between the pilot and Titan and even in the first few minutes of footage that I have for you here there's no insane super fast-paced action happening it's more of parkour and you're interacting with the Titan how long did you serve with Lastimosa Captain Lastimosa linked with me 973 days ago it's longer than any relationship I've had. Noted. From what I got in the short glimpse that I saw was they're building the story around the pilot and the Titan and their connection, them going through this journey together. I know in Titanfall 1 there was some type of single player story where you essentially went through multiplayer matches, but it really didn't leave a lasting impression on me in terms of what the universe is. And that's what I would love to see in this campaign and how this character fits in with it. The storyline for this one is essentially following an underdog type character, which I personally always love. And even in just the short amount of footage that I've seen for this, I saw that they really have worked in a lot of comedy into the storyline, into the characters. But there's also epic fight sequences like this where you can just go on a badass flank route, beating people down and launching missiles. As to, I think, be expected with giant titans but there were definitely slower parts to it as well. It didn't feel like your standard FPS multiplayer campaign. Whether that was because that's just what they showed us or that's how it actually will be, we'll have to see. But even like you saw in the beginning, there are these slower sequences or character building that it takes time out for, or it gives you a puzzle where you have to figure out how to bridge a gap or the best way to approach a situation. For me, most of the time, the multiplayer is the main focus of a game. The single player is something that's nice to get my feet wet in terms of figure out what's the backstory of why these guys are fighting each other. And now I know all of the controls and won't be a complete buffoon as I run around on the battlefield. So my expectations generally are pretty low. That being said, it's always pleasant when there is a really good campaign to enjoy, and I hope this delivers. From what I saw, it looked highly entertaining and uh, had some good laughs in it. Touching more on the gameplay that we've been watching though, I'll throw it back to a couple of the other portions, but right now he's pulled out a sniper rifle, the double take, which appears to be uh, shooting two bullets at one time. I'll bring it into slow-mo in a clip coming up. Epic assassination animation right there. And here's the sniper rifle, so sick. And you saw him a little earlier throw down this little drone. You'll see him again in a second. He throws two of them down and they just stand up and explode. You also see him here invisible. That's the LB ability there. The AI cannot see him at all pulling that out. They don't even try shooting at his direction anymore. Earlier when he picked this gun up, you saw a brief note saying that it's an energy actuated SMG. Now picking up a burst fire assault rifle. Have definitely not seen that. And a couple of times we've seen now these not full titans, but kind of mini mechs he goes up against with this flashing red highlighted portion that he seems to be aiming at. And here is the return of the Kraber, which he uses to finish him off. And that was the end of the single player footage. Cutting back for a quick second though, to the Titan gameplay that I was talking over earlier. If you look at his abilities and his gun right there, it switched. I think we were looking at two different Titans there. And what he switched to was the classic 40 millimeter Titan, the sniper-esque one from Titanfall 1. It looks like it has some new tricks up its sleeve though, because as you saw when it was shooting there, 
After it hit three consecutive shots, the ring became red, almost like a lock-on, and if you saw, the 40mm bullets looked like they were curving a bit. Right before he jumped out, he also deployed a shield in front of the Titan. But after he got that lock, he also shot out some missiles from the shoulder on it, absolutely annihilating the thing. Then going on foot, doing a couple sick badass takedowns, hops back in the Titan, activating his core, or the ultimate for the Titans. In this case, the Salvo core with just massive missiles coming out. I know it's a small preview of the game, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited for Titanfall 2? I'll be covering some more multiplayer soon, so stay tuned and I'll see you soon. This is Stonemount64, over and out.